Hello and welcome to the second part of this short video tutorials on psychrometric chart. In this tutorial I will introduce the conf uh, concept of human comfort zone and uh, also um, sensible heat effector lines. So, what is human comfort zone? Well, anywhere if the temperature outside is between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, you feel fine, right? Ideally, it should be 25. Similarly, for humidity, relative humidity, if it is from 30% to 60%, this is an average human comfort level of the humidity. So, that zone can be in between these points anything to the right of this line and above this line to the left of this line okay, and below this line whatever zone you get here this is called comfortable zone if the state of the air, condition of the air outside lying in this zone, then it is fine. You perhaps don't need air conditioning. It's quite moderate temperature and moderate humidity. However, if the state or condition of outside of the outside air is in this zone, then it turns out to be cold and dry. Okay. To bring this state into this comfortable zone, you need heating or a device called heat pump. Similarly, if the condition or state of the air is somewhere here in this region, then it is hot and humid. So you need cooling as well as dehumidifications to enter into this comfortable zone. And this is cooling process which is done through air conditioning. So this represents to the far north of south and this zone represents close to the condition of the air close to the equator. Now when it comes to loading there are two types of load. The total heat load of any region, building, place, or room is the summation of sensible heat load plus latent heat load. And the sensible heat factor is the ratio of sensible heat load over total heat load. If you see on this D, on the inner periphery, there are values which ranges from 0 all the way to 1 and this is actually the sensible heat factor. So if I draw a line from this central point anywhere, anywhere, this line, the slope or inclination of this line indicates the sensible heat factor. In other words, if, if I have a process on this psychrometric charts straight up or down vertically, it shows me the sensible heat factor is zero. And if there is a process, horizontal process, it shows the sensible heat factor is one. Okay. But if there is somewhere at some angle, then it's between 0 and 1. So let's say the sensible heat factor is 0.5. All I have to do is to grab on a scale and draw a line which from this center point that passes through 0.5 because sensible heat factor is 5 and then whatever is the starting point it can be somewhere here maybe the inlet of the air conditions or the condition of the inside room. 
So draw a line parallel to this line anywhere on this chart. This is called, this line will call sensible heat vector line. Okay. So if you're going down the hill, well, so I just want to say this. If you're going down, it shows the cooling load. You need cooling. And if you're going up, it shows heating. Okay. If you're going upward, it shows heating. And so it also tells us what is the inclination of this line. We draw this based on the value of the sensible heat vector. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.